children. Good morning, parents and family at home. Thank you for joining us for another week of children's online service. So glad that you could be with us here today. I hope you're all great and had an amazing week. So now, please join me for a time of praise and worship. Wow. <laughs> 
So now it's time for this week's lesson. Enjoy and also pay attention as we find out a bit more what it means to stand for God. Hey kids, have you ever had to stand up for someone? Maybe you stood up to a bully because they were picking on someone. Or maybe you told your friends to stop saying bad things behind another friend's back. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to learn about a time when some guys had to stand up for God. King Nebuchadnezzar set up a massive statue for everyone to worship. Do you remember King Nebuchadnezzar from our last lesson? He was a big, proud king that didn't believe in the real God. He built a massive statue of a fake God for everyone to see and worship. He wanted everyone to bow down to him. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to the statue. Those three people believed in the real God, and they wouldn't worship the big statue. When the king found out about this, he had them brought to him. He told them they have one more chance to bow down, or else they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. But they refused to bow down and said something very important. Memory verse. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. They weren't afraid because they knew God would protect them. The king threw those three guys into a fiery furnace. The king got so mad at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that he turned up the heat. He turned the furnace up seven times hotter than it was supposed to be and threw them in. The fire was so hot that the guards that threw them in got burned. There's no way that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were going to survive. The king was watching and waiting for them to burn up. But when he looked into the furnace, he saw not three, but four men. He only threw in three guys, so who is this fourth person? Jesus stands with us when we stand for him. Do you want to know who the fourth person was? Well, we aren't entirely sure. It could be an angel, or it could have been God himself. Either way, they didn't burn up because God protected them. So King Nebuchadnezzar had them come out of the fire. Then he realized that the God they served was the real God. So kids, next time you stand up for someone, Think of this lesson. When we stand up for God, He'll help us and make us brave. Amazing. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had made a courageous decision. They chose to obey God and stand for what they knew was right. And God saved them from the fiery furnace. Jesus stands with us when we stand with him. Always remember that. So now I'll introduce this week's new memory verse and it's taken from Daniel 3.17 and it reads If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. So now it's time for our on-screen activity. Can you find all 16 differences from the picture? Let's see how many you can get in one minute.
Well done to everyone who gave that a go and tried to find the difference here. Doesn't matter how many you got, big well done and I hope you enjoyed the activity. So now we've come to the end of the service. See you next Sunday.